In this video, we're going to discuss AWS certifications. We're going to discuss what they will do for you, what they will not do for you, and of course, how to leverage them to be more successful in your cloud computing career. Now, I love AWS certifications and they can be incredibly helpful in building your brand. Now, when you have a better brand, you get more interviews. So AWS certifications do hold value. They are strategic in that they will help you get interviews. But here's the biggest problem. What's taught in an AWS certification is really something that's not going to get you any job anywhere, anytime. So what you're going to have to do is understand the real skills, learn the real skills, get the real skills, and then get certified and poof, you'll be hired. Now, this is much more the way, say, a physician would train. They would go to medical school and, and they do the residency. But at some point, they will do their license, but they have the skills before they take their license. So... The point is, is you've got to get skills before you get the certification. So let's talk about what's missing in the certifications and why, honestly, I don't even consider AWS certifications cloud computing training. I consider them the branding training for you, which will help you get more interviews. And when you have the skills plus interviews, now you're getting hired. So it's still a magical combination. But certifications signal to managers that you may have been exposed to it, which is a good thing. Uh, certifications, specifically AWS certifications, teach marketing names. They will tell you what it, they will tell you about an EC2 instance and how to configure it, but you won't even know what an EC2 instance is. You won't know how to size it. You won't understand when to use a virtual machine or an EC2 instance versus a container. So pretty much they'll teach you just the superficial piece, but nothing that you will ever need to do a job. Now, another weakness in an AWS certification is that it's vendor specific. There is no AWS everything environment. There's always going to be multiple vendors. And what's the other component that's missing in the AWS certifications are the foundational tech. What is the technology that makes the cloud possible? Where are the weaknesses in the cloud? How and where could the cloud break and how could you work around it? All of that is actually missing. So if you understand that they're not teaching the underlying technology, which you need to know if you're going to design it and put the pieces together in an architecture, and if you know that it's all single stuff, the name of something, without telling you what it really is and how to configure it, clearly that won't move into architecture or any kind of serious engineering role either because you won't have any of the underlying technology. Now, all the AWS certifications lack the context of business, cost, and risk. And uh, these are some of the primary architectural decisions we actually have to make that we can look at long before we think of technology. And if we just thought of technology without that, uh, we would have big problems. And there's nothing related to the real skills that you might need in the role. For example, you could be in a cloud architect role and need to present to executive, need a fair amount of business to write a business case, need to know how to respond to an RFI, RFP, RFQ, which is, of course is not covered in an AWS certification, need to create a business case, need to create an architectural repository, need to clean an architectural review board. For example, need to create a government stru governance structure to client. And none of this is in the AWS certifications. And that's why certifications alone don't get anyone a job. But skills plus certifications, ooh, that's a magical combination. So the thing is that certifications don't give you competency. So go out there and get competency, get your competency, and then get the skills. The certifications don't teach the soft skills. And in today's world, soft skills are more critical than ever. They're required in most cases to get any kind of a big role, like a solutions architect or a cloud architect. But in today's world, uh, soft skills are everything because any of today's roles that are and moving forward, roles like a, an art cloud architect, solutions architect, sales engineer, enterprise architect, account executive, senior leadership, these jobs can't be replaced by AI because they require a lot of coordination between, between people, a lot of leadership, a lot of sales, a lot of influence, all things that can't be done by AI. And none of these are in the certification. So make sure you master these. Besides, 89% of the people fail you the interview because of poor soft skills. So I want you hired, so make sure you dedicate some time to that. The problem if you, all you have is certifications is everybody's got one, especially with free retakes and free certifications. So they're still gonna help you get an interview, which is good. Just don't ever think that they're gonna get you hard. Because
because jobs need applied knowledge. How do you think about how to solve a problem in the context of all these various trade-offs? And of course, cloud roles are multidisciplinary. There's almost no one that has just an AWS cloud. 98% of enterprises are hybrid multi-cloud at this point. So you, you, that would mitigate at least 50% of the things in the certifications. So the key is go get your skills and then get your certifications. Be so good that anybody would hire you and then get the certifications. And, I, and the way I look at it is if I were to look at a present, you and all your skills are the present inside the box. The certification is the wrapping paper and the pretty bow you put on top of the box where we are the gift. And the uh, certification is just a bow that makes us look more attractive as the present, which we naturally are. If you'd like to become a cloud architect, security architect, AI architect, enterprise architect, or any other kind of architect, we have architecture programs that cover 100% of the skills you need to build your career, business, leadership, tech, all of it. We also hold free architecture webinars every week. And on these webinars, we will go over the architectural roles, various architectural roles. We will talk about what we do in these roles. We will talk about the skills necessary for these roles. And we will tell you all the steps you need to take to get hired. These webinars are completely free. You can sign up for them in the description of this video. While you're in the description of this video, I wanted to let you know we have many free things to help you in your career, guides on how to become various archetypes of architects, guides on how to win the interview. So sign up for them, they're all free, and I hope they are a big help to you in your cloud computing career, security career, enterprise architecture career, or any other career. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a like, subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell to be notified of new videos to assist you in your cloud architect, security architect, AI architect, or enterprise architect career. This is Mike Gibbs signing off for now, and I hope to meet you in a free webinar live on Zoom where we can talk, or I would hope to see you in another video. Take care, everyone. See you soon.